Hey guys, just finished watching Marvel's Runaway, Season 1, Episode 9, Doomsday. Um, <laughs> this episode was just so good. I mean, um, it was just a great episode. I mean, at first it was a bit slow doing things on it. didn't go anywhere. Um, but then the ending just, oh, such a great ending. That ending was just so good. I definitely can't wait to see what happens uh, in, in next week's episode, um, which hopefully we do get next week's episode. Um... Because I'm looking here on YouTube and stuff, and there was no nothing about whether or not there's going to be like no trailer yet. And I'm watching this now at 11 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock. I was watching it at 10 o'clock at night and stuff. So uh, it, it's just kind of uh, weird that you know usually they have the episodes. The episode air drops online, and the then the the trailer drops also for the next week's episode. So who knows what's going to happen? I'm just looking here on IMDb to see if there's a release date for the next one, uh, January 9th. Yeah, that should be about seven days. Yeah. On January 9th should have a, a, the last episode so that's really cool it's really cool for what we have in this episode um and really cool can't wait to see what happens in the next week's episode hopefully we get a trailer for it maybe we won't get a trailer for it that would be cool no need for a trailer I mean if you already watched 9 of 10 you're you know who you know, who needs a trailer to, to do that you know um just put it out type thing and there you go uh, I think that would be cool you no need to really to really to advertise you're going to watch episode 10 after you watch episode 9 especially a, a cliffhanger like this and stuff oh so excited um hopefully this gets renewed for season two uh, whether it's on you know hulu netflix or the disney streaming service in 2019 um it really is going to be fun to see where things go with all this and really how things kind of go down so here i have a list of things i wanted to talk about so here let's start it off the first thing which is molly's flashback um seeing leslie uh, dean killed alice and uh, jean uh her Hernandez, Hernandez, and that's really cool. Molly's parents and Molly, uh, she did it for Tina. We don't get any reason uh, why, what motivation that you know, uh, motivated Leslie Dean to do it, and what motivated Tina to do it. Because Tina seems like the person who usually she would just kill someone. You know, it's more under her wheelhouse, and you know, it would have to also involve Leslie Dean for her to want to help Tina do it, and for Les for Tina, I don't know. Maybe this was. A flashback to before Les Tina became so rock hard and so, um, you know, uh, so 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 rough and stuff like that. So who knows? It could be really cool to see that, uh, but I doubt we're gonna get that in the uh, in in the next episode, in episode ten, last episode, um, just because I'd want to focus on this thing now that's finally have Pride versus Runaways. And I think that was so cool, and I loved how the 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 ending there. The um, the parents were kind of really scared, look a little scared of their 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 kids stuff. I just love it. Oh. It's so cool um and just can't wait to see where things go with all this uh, and then the other part was you know molly survived the explosion because of the rocks she got her powers from, from the rocks and i find it interesting though they didn't touch upon the whether the fact that does molly remember this i mean she, yeah she was a very young kid but it's a traumatic part in, in her life you know does she realize uh, was she young enough to realize what happened you know um does she remember that explosion you know it, at least who knows if she you know if she didn't actually see her parents get get blown up Maybe she doesn't. She never connected at the young age. Didn't connect that explosion with killing her parents. Who knows? But how she has to remember at least that explosion. So I want to know more about where you know how. Did, how much does she remember of that day? Or did they wipe her memory just like they do every time? Just like um, every time Jonah helps someone with his special serum, it ends up resetting their brain and resetting them type of thing. So who knows if they mind wiped uh, Molly at a young age type of thing somehow with some sort of tech or fit serum or something that Jonah has? I think that would be really cool to touch upon that. But I don't think we're gonna we are gonna touch up any much upon that um, in next week's episode. I mean, I really. I, I kind of want to, but at the same time, I really want to just focus on the parents versus the kids and have the runaways versus pride and really have that go head to head. And I really can't wait to see that set up. So um, who knows what's going to happen in the next week's episode. Definitely can't wait to see it. Uh, and maybe no trailer. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but it's really going to be fun to see what things go for there. So it was really cool seeing what that is. And they don't talk about what the rock is and all that stuff and why they're doing digging all this. Um, so I don't know, it was really interesting to see that, and it was kind of silly, uh, the way things kind of w went down, but, uh, it really is going to be fun to see where things go with this kind of, this rock and stuff, um, they don't even really say what it is type thing, it's not sure what it is, um, so it really is going to be fun to see where things go with all this stuff, so, and then there was the part with, um, uh, Gla Glaciela, Glaciela, um, the the people who the Yorks left uh, Molly with, uh, that girl, she uh, sh that she she told the Yorks that Molly left, which kind of was a dumb move in my opinion, just because she, they are she has her her doubts about the about the Yorks. She doesn't trust the Yorks because of the key and all that stuff. So why would you, uh, you know, why would you tell the why would you even tell them in the first place? You know, if they never told them, never would have set on maybe would have changed some of this stuff. Now, what's his face? Um, 
would have still told Jonah all that stuff, but we'll get into that later. Uh, so I don't know, which is kind of a silly move for her, on her part to even let them know that, uh, yeah, just go just, instead of just playing along with it, just, oh yeah, she's at her, her dance lessons, and oh, that's where she is, end of story, you know, move on type thing. Um, so I don't know, that was kind of silly of her, uh, but we'll, we'll see there, whatever. Um, and then we have the Ferris Bueller reference, that was really cool with Molly and, and Gert, made of first Bueller reference that was pretty fun um and then it was the, the then there was the cool parts at the end there was getting to more to the end where the J, uh Gert and, and Chase danced and stuff and they hooked up and then you know I think it's really gonna be it was really it was at first it was kind of cheesy the way it was going but then how everything you know they get out and Carolina and and uh, Nico are kissing and stuff and it's not unclear whether or not Chase and Gert kind of saw what happened you know or did just Gert saw what happened and stuff so who knows about what you know obviously Carolina and, and Nico could tell what just happened between um Gert and Chase you know type of thing uh but it's just I don't know if 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 all four of them know what happened all four all the way around type of thing that's really going to be fun to play with that and how that goes um and it was interesting because if I'm not mistaken from what I've seen bits and pieces of the comic books online and I've read them uh Nick, Nico uh is in the comic books actually doesn't is not a lesbian and type of thing is not really into uh Carolina when she ends up kissing her in the comics uh so I don't know if because it looked like she was kind of reciprocating so of backing away surprised um and it lasted a little longer than than it would have if someone was you know didn't want what didn't want to do that so i don't know it was just kind of weird to see uh how that went down and maybe uh if they're changing it maybe they're going to make uh carolina and nico a couple i think it could be interesting who knows um but i just i like the way they're doing it um and just making it not be so um formulaic and you know fit into you know the typical teen drama type thing so i think they kind of like that um they didn't focus on it too much it just happened to move on and move right on i love that part of it so i like how it just keeps going and everything just moves on um and then we have frank dean he told jonah everything type thing uh, everything that carolina told him which i don't oh why would they maybe maybe they don't maybe carolina doesn't um maybe carolina doesn't know her father so so unquote which clearly jonah is probably carolina's father and stuff so but frank dean just telling jonah everything i mean I don't know. I could have seen that one coming. That that uh, f you know. So I don't know. I should, they should never should have told him everything. They should have told him bits and pieces, and then be like, "Oh, here's what we think we know," and then let him let them go away. Because I feel like uh, maybe Carolina would have been blind because you know because he's her father type of thing. Uh, she believes he's her father, and uh, but I could just see alex or someone should have figured out that yeah maybe not tell frank dean everything maybe tell him a little bit tell him even a lie um you know bending of the truth just to see what he does with it and then let him go because they're not sure they were not sure if he was a part of it or not i mean he wasn't in any of the video and all that stuff but who knows but they still could have been a part of it secretly type thing for all they know um if he was aware of it and just ignored it type of thing you know uh, so I don't know, it just would have been fun the way to do that, to test him out rather than telling him everything, not knowing what he'll do with it type thing. So uh, who knows, but it is what it is and um, who knows what uh, Frank Dean's going to get out of it other than just maybe being a part of uh, there because it looked like he was um, he was there, Jonah was in the car when uh, the security guard called him and uh, let, let him in, which I find it weird that, you know, Jonah hired the security guard and the security guard is you know or or actually um leslie uh, leslie dean she hired the security guard um and i just find it weird that she, the security guard would call um her father who's not a part of pride instead of calling leslie um or calling jonah type of thing it would have made more sense than that than just calling you know the one guy who's out of, not a part of um not a part of uh, of pride type of thing and it would have made sense even if it is let's say it's part of the 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 um you know part of the 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 church and stuff but they don't want uh they don't want to let this guy know uh that it's this is a pride thing they're doing you know only let the pride know but you can still gotta let have him report to uh leslie who then would tell uh jonah type of thing so i don't know why it was kind of weird that he called the first guy he was told to call was uh was jonah was allowed to call him instead of you know someone saying to call leslie whenever you uh if, if you have anything um, so that was there and then at the end it was really cool seeing the final finally getting runaways versus the parents and leaving on that note oh it was so cool I definitely can't wait to see and it was interesting that Leslie Dean had 
know, didn't know really about Carolina's powers, but she suspected it. So I don't know. It was interesting to see that. Um, and at the end there, when we had the parents versus the um, the runaways, um, or pride versus runaways, parents versus kids and stuff, um, there was no. Uh, it didn't look like um, was was Frank Dean there or not. You know, I maybe I need to go back and check, but uh, I wasn't sure like, is he there or not. I didn't see him there, so it was kind of weird. You know, since he was in the looks like he was in the car uh, when he got the call type thing. So uh, who knows what's gonna happen there or where he is there? Maybe he's just waiting in the car or something. Um, and then the. And then there was other part that we found out earlier on in the in, in the part where that I just put down after um, was that um, you know two people knew about uh, about Amy um, that Amy was in danger because of the text you know he's he knows you know you're in danger type of thing so I think that was kind of interesting to see that and finding out who that is and figuring out who that is there's so much we need to figure out all in episode ten that I hope it doesn't just all get thrown at us type of thing but I still want to have time to do parent like i really want a long scene battle scene of the parents versus the kids type thing and having that run away um and it also seems like they're really going they're barreling towards a uh if this doesn't make it to a season two or whatever um they're bearing it looks like they're barreling for a, a big um a cliffhanger with no resolution type thing so who knows what happens with this uh, but hopefully with this things like netflix and hulu and all these online streaming things that um if it doesn't make enough, get enough views type thing to uh, r merit a season two, maybe they can just do a one episode or a two episode thing to, to solve everything and put everything down if it doesn't get enough for a season two, um, which I feel like it, this would. Um, who knows what the ratings are, but I've seen a few people uh, like it and stuff, so uh, we'll have to wait and see how things go with this, for whether or not we get a season two. But um, fingers crossed for a season two. Uh, but hopefully at least if we get a... And they have all kinds of cliffhangers by the end of the next episode. Maybe we can at least get them resolved in like some sort of a short movie type thing. I think they did that for what was it? Um, uh, Sense Eight on Netflix. It got a season one, got a Christmas special, and then it got a season two, and then it didn't get a season three. So they just and then they just uh, summed it all up in a short one episode um, thing type thing, just to solve, just to appease the fans and get and leave it on a happy ending instead of you know closing it, leaving all the strings loose type thing. And I hopefully uh, they can do that with this if it doesn't get a season two. So let me know what you think, guys, about this episode in the comments below. Season one, episode nine, Doomsday of the Runaways, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, Excelsior. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.